Ready. Good. Tonight's clock brought to you by Bud Light. Here we go. Again. Silva. And it's familiar yellow trunks. Blue trunks for Weidman. Anderson's hands are up. The question is, how long is Chris going to stand with him before he decides to try to take him down? Absolutely. And Chris throws a front kick to the body. Speaking of kicks, that's what we're going to look for from Anderson. And there's a single. He stuck it. He's got him down. Silva looking to get right back up. And this is what Chris wanted. He wanted to get a hold of him quick. And Anderson's right back up to his feet. Nice knee by Anderson. Anderson can be very dangerous from this position with Chris's head low. And he's dangerous from every position. Yeah. Especially when he's fresh early in the fight. He pushed some weight. He's got to look out for those knees. That's where Anderson excels. Oh, yeah. those the vicious Rich Franklin fights. And he's so good in that Muay Thai clinch as well. Oh, he hurt him. He hurt him already. Anderson's he's in trouble. Hurt him he's in trouble. trouble. Looking to finish the fight. Chris Weidman all over Silva. Can he do it again? Or can Anderson survive? He survived, but he got rocked. Wow. Chris was smart not to punch himself out there. Well, he realized that Anderson had him in his guard. He wasn't able to really generate power. He's looking for a, an Ezekiel choke. Can he get a choke? No, not, not yet. I mean, not from where he's at, but the fact is he was stopping the breathing of Anderson. He's got to look out for Anderson's guard, though. Anderson has a very good offensive guard, an underrated guard. Look to throw the elbow. Anderson's looking for an arm triangle from the bottom. Very difficult to get. In fact, Jeremy Horn is the only guy that I've ever seen get it. He got it on Chuck Liddell and put him to sleep with it in Chuck's first loss in the octagon. Anderson trying to weather this early storm. Anderson lands a short punch from the bottom. But he takes one from Weidman. Well, Weidman has got to get out of the guard. Yeah. Because in the guard, it's very, he's using the can opener. And what he's trying to do is get Anderson to open up his guard by putting incredible pressure on the neck like that. The only way to relieve that pressure is for Anderson to release his guard and scoot his hips back. Long time Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt under the Novera brothers, Anderson Silva. Weidman elbow. has a good elbow there. It's very difficult to land hard. There's a, there's a solid shot. And another. That one hurt him. And this is what you said earlier, Joe, that Chris was going to look to do. Take yeah. him down and beat him up. Take him down, beat him up, hurt him. Anderson now goes with a body triangle. It makes it very hard for Chris to breathe and even harder for him to generate power in his shots. It's more of a defensive technique, though. As long as Anderson has that body triangle on, he's not going to be offensive from the bottom as far as submissions go. Big shot by Weidman. Weidman hurt him. From the bottom, Silva. Good elbow from the bottom by Anderson. 90 seconds on the clock here in round one. You know, we've seen this in several Anderson fights, especially the Chael Sonnen fight, the second one, where he gets taken down fairly easily in the first round, but in the second round, his opponent can't take him down. In the first fight, Chris Weidman took him down. Again, he's using that can opener, and then he lands a short punch. And he hurt him again. Ooh, good Anderson shots from, from the, the bottom. bottom. Good hammer fist from the bottom. Joe, as you mentioned, Anderson was rocked early, but he has obviously recovered. And he's staying active on his back. 45. Someone's cut. I see blood. It may be from Weidman. Could it's have been tough one to of those tell. Elbows, right? Yeah, it's tough to tell. 30 was a silver elbow. Oh, big, big elbow, elbow right by there. Chris. 20 seconds. Now Wyman's going to stack him. 15. Yeah, it's Wyman's blood. It's coming from his nose. Big shot at the end of the round. 
Watch out. Yeah, you see that punch that connected? That hurt him, no doubt about it. Look, you see his eyes close and his body gives out. And there's always a question when a guy gets knocked unconscious the way he did in his last fight. It takes a long time to recover from something like that. Ah, the phenom! And that's the monster waiting in the yeah, wings for whoever wins this fight. Oh, yeah. How good has he been that's this a year? scary face. Yes, it is. Started calling his fights when he was 19 years old. Now it's your turn. Yeah, she said the bottom three shots. Gotta Take him to the clinch. Amongst those in the corner of the former longtime champion. Six years, eight months, and 22 days. Anderson Silva was the middleweight champ. Look, Anderson Silva got hurt bad in that round, Mike, and we could see it in the replay. Chris Weidman has been the champ since July 6th. Round two. which is something we've seen utilized so dynamically by the spider. Good kick. There's, a, there's a first inside leg kick by Anderson. Very fast. Anderson's hands are up still. And one of the most dynamic knockouts in UFC history was Silva on Vitor Belfort. You know, one of the things that I'm impressed with about Weidman, and I was impressed with in the first fight as well, was that he knows when not to come in. Right. He knows distance very well. He might not be as fast as Anderson, but he's very good at gauging when Anderson's going to move forward and he gets out of the way. And he makes Anderson think because of that. Whereas other guys have stood flat-footed in front of him and allowed Anderson to get his timing down and launch shots. There's a good shot to the body. Oh, oh nice. He oh, it. no. He hurt, he hurt his leg. And it is it's all it. over. Anderson hurt his leg when the kick was checked. And Weidman remains the champion. He broke his leg. Anderson fractured his leg. You can see his leg hanging can, loose now. Wow. He broke his leg. Unbelievable. What a crazy ending. It went limp. It snapped Chris, right in Chris, half. Chris, right now, please. Wow. Yeah, come on. Much like Corey Hill years ago, Joe. Very much like. Okay. What a shocking okay. end. Wow. Okay. He, left. he got snapped got his leg. The doctors got you. So wow. Out. It went completely limp. You can see it dangle. Unbelievable. Let's take a look at it again. We'll see if we can see it snap. Fight replay brought to you by Bud Light. Here we go. Watch this. He checks it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That's about as obvious as it gets. And as I told you, John, John Donaher, oh, my oh God. Oh, my goodness. John Donaher had said after the first fight that that was what concerned him about his performance, was that he wasn't checking leg kicks. Well, he checked that one. What a shocking turn of events. Wow. And Joe, in the end, we have an odd ending again to Chris Weidman defeating Anderson Silva. Well, not just an odd ending, Mike, but that might be the ending of Anderson I, Silva's I career. The that same is thing. an incredibly yep, difficult injury to come back from. That's a serious fracture of the leg. I mean, it's going to be difficult for him to walk again for a long time. Snapping your leg in half like that, it's a very serious injury, and this might be the end of a great mixed martial arts career. At the very least, a long yes. time recovering. We remember how long it took Frank Mir to come back from his motorcycle injury when he snapped his leg. And Frank came back, was never himself again for years. It took at least a year and a half, two years after his return till we started to see the real Frank Mir again. And Corey Hill, who's not a great champion like Anderson Silva, but yet, a mixed martial artist, he came back, it took a couple years, but he didn't last very long. Yeah. It's so tough, especially mentally, to throw a kick again. Unbelievable. What an unexpected turn of events. Wow.
I mean, that's only the second time we've ever seen that inside the octagon, Mike, and to see it from Anderson Silva, and very fascinating to see it when we were talking about that very thing yes. being a problem in the first fight. The Donahue recognized that. Well, I'll tell you what, Chris Meidman, Chris Meidman seriously worked on his leg checking because he nailed it perfectly. He has done it again. Chris Weidman defeats Anderson Silva with the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 16 seconds of round number two. Due to injury, the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Chris Weidman. All right, I'm here with the winner and still champion, Chris Weidman. Chris, after your first victory with Anderson Silva, I talked to John Donaher inside the octagon. The first thing he said to me after I said congratulations was he didn't like how you were getting hit with those leg kicks. Obviously, you worked very hard on checking those, but did you ever expect that this could happen? You know, I'll, I'll be honest with you. First of all, I just want to say, no matter what happened in this fight before, what, what the result just was now, or after, he's still known as the greatest of all time. Lots of props to Anderson Silva. I wish him the best, and God bless him. Uh, what was the question? The question was, how hard did you work on your leg kick checking, and did you ever expect that this could possibly happen? Uh, you know, Longo, obviously, that was the number one thing that I got hit with in the first fight. So I did work a lot against guys with good kicks, and was working on checking him a lot. And I did actually think that if he's gonna go that hard on kicks like he usually does, if I catch it on my knee, it could really hurt him. But it's still crazy how that happened. Unbelievable, it's the only second time we've ever seen this inside the octagon. Now, you hurt him bad in the first round. Let's take a look at that. You were inside the clinch and you caught him with a nasty right hand and dropped him. His eyes rolled back in his head, his body went limp. What were you thinking at that moment? There was a point where I was just like thinking, ref, stop the fight. Uh, but that's where I was thinking. You were hoping he would stop the fight. Yeah, I was hoping that he'd stop the fight. I was hitting him a lot. His eyes were still kind of in the back of his head for a lot of those punches, but he recovered well. I just want to give uh, thanks to Jesus Christ. Without him, I wouldn't be here. He gave me the strength to work as hard as I did to get to this spot. So thanks. Thanks to my team. Uh, if you're in Long Island, Matt Sarah, BJJ, Hunt, uh, no, Huntington, in uh, Levittown, and then me and, me and Longo just opened a new gym, Power MMA. Come by. Now, Chris, this is obviously an incredible turn of events. The first fight was incredible. You became the champion. Has it sunk in now? Are, are you, are, do you feel, after that incredible fight, and now this fight, do you feel that you will now get the respect that maybe you deserve from the first fight but didn't get because a lot of people thought it was a fluke? Um, who knows? Probably not. <laughs> Because, you know, I'm so new in this sport. I'm 11 and 0 now. Uh, people can't fathom the fact that I'm coming in here and, and beating guys. So I understand where people are coming from, but slowly but surely people start uh, believing in me. Listen, Chris, outstanding performance. Congratulations on retaining your title. Can't wait to see you perform again. Chris Weidman, ladies and gentlemen. Chris Weidman, the winner of a brand new 2014 Harley Davidson Street Glide Special Motorcycle. And as I said before, what an experience to ride one. You know, it's interesting too, because the way this fight ended, it's obviously a horrible injury, but we saw it with Louisville in the NCAA tournament. We saw it with Joe Theismann years ago. So it's hard to watch. We feel for Anderson Silva, but it's a contact sport. And unfortunately tonight, Anderson Silva broke his leg throwing a kick at Chris Weidman. Tonight's Chris Weidman Anderson Silva UFC middleweight title fight has been brought to you by Muscle Farm, fueling athletes safely. Wow. You know, it's what's really incredible, Mike, is that there was questions from the first fight, and I, I guarantee people will have questions now yep. coming into the second fight. But the bottom line about what we saw tonight, despite the injury, was that Chris Weidman was dominating Anderson Silva. Anderson had landed a couple of good shots in the clinch, but Weidman hurt him badly, got some good ground and pound in, and then the check kick. I mean, just what an incredible turn of events. His father, Charlie, very spiritual, as you saw in Countdown. 
Chris went through so much before the first fight with the hurricane and having to live with his parents and the shoulder injury. This time everything was perfect, and it worked out well again as he re-